Hey, D, we got some news for you. What? Netflix can finally count to three. They're letting a, they're letting a show go beyond the second season. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Anyway, this is our review for A Gretz Go. A Gretz Go. Season three. Rage. Did you really just. Yeah, rage. Play the damn music. Count to ten. I'm. What's really good, guys? It's your boy Spider Minutes, aka D Man. Your man. I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Thor Tour, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to the Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie and show review show for the channel. I, I, I said movie show, show review show. Movie, movie show, review. streaming show, review show for the channel. <laughs> You want to look at it. However, you want to look at it. And uh, we want to thank you guys for joining us uh, because we got ourselves a nice little review for uh, Netflix's Agresco Season 3. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon to get notifications because we've got videos for you every daggone day, ranging from movies to wrestling to video games to whatever we find interesting. We'll bring it right to you. Also, like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, Ark. I do faithful now. Let's get it going. Agresco, first two seasons. First two seasons of Agresco, she's having trouble with the job. Mm -hmm. She's having trouble with love. This season, she's just having trouble. Yeah. She is just having trouble. Mainly, it's debt related. It uh, is. Because we saw in the trailers that she ends up bumping her car into another man's car, and now she is indebted to him for whatever they need her to do. Uh, but apparently, it's just, you know... Being a gopher for a a a, a pop idol group, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, like that by itself is absurd enough just to be fun, but uh, this show really did a good job this particular season of giving us some glimpses into some of the side characters uh, in their lives uh, and and how they interact without uh, Retzko. And I kind of wish that they gave us more of that. Yeah. I yeah. do too. Yeah. I ho I hope if they do another season, they they do do that. Yeah, I hope they do expand. Yeah. We only got ten episodes this one. They're ten fifteen minute episodes, really short series because we binged it in the time it took us to uh, get some work done after you dropped off uh, the little little kaiju and then picked them up. It's like it was yeah. real quick. Um, but they gave us some glimpses into some of the side characters, like you know Haida, uh, Tadano, uh, Gori, and Washimi. I wish they gave us just a little bit more. But this was uh, this was a nice little little. Series. It goes left. It does. It goes left really, really quick. It goes left. Yeah, and Wait. that I was not expecting at all. It was like but, everything yeah. is pop idol and fun, and then the last three episodes just like it yo went dark. Yeah, That's so it. so you know TW on that one right there, just just in case, because like there is some some ish that goes down. Yeah, that I was not expecting. Uh, but this particular one was actually pretty fun because I felt that Agresco, uh, Gretzko, Retzko, uh, grew up a little bit more, uh, became a little bit more assertive yes, she uh, did. as a character, which is yeah. you know, more fun for me instead of seeing somebody wallow. And that's, that's really kind of the theme for this whole season is people are growing aside from, you know, like, like everybody's growing. Actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it, everybody's growing because uh, we got Anai who goes from, you know, super high strong. And I absolutely wanted to punch his punchable face last season. Yeah. And yeah, then this season, it's like, yo, he's living his best life. Yeah, he, grew he is. Up. He's he still is. high strong, but like it's 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 a, a high strongness. I know it's not a word. Shut up. I don't care. It's a high strongness, a high that, strongness. that he has to deal with yes. not everybody else like no, he's not putting no. that on everybody else and that's that's a really good look because like he's he's growing and developing friendships within uh the office um we didn't get a lot of uh finico in this one no we didn't, we didn't i kind of wish we did but one. we didn't we also didn't get a lot of washimi uh in this one either no uh, it was mainly just uh retzko and haida and we got glimpses of Tadano too. Yeah, yeah, we had some, we had some fun, but uh, there, there, there are some, 
some 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 interesting uh, threads in this one right here. Um, really, there's there's not a lot to really say about the season because no, like, because was really of how short, short yeah, it was, yeah. and it really left me wanting a lot more, a lot more, and I'm I'm almost disappointed to that effect right there uh, with this season. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Yeah, because uh, like I, they got a super hyped for it, then we watch it, and it was like. I thought that was... Oh, this is just a that taste. That was going to give us this a little is, bit more. This is a taste. But hopefully they're going to do more with the characters. Hopefully they'll give us more glimpse of each character yeah. outside of Retsko. And, you know, we'll get to see them grow some more along with her. But yeah, I do agree with you that it was basically just a taste. Yeah, it's just a nice little teaser. The music taste. in this one, though, is 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 probably some of the best yeah. uh, for the series, uh, this particular season. Yeah, they it is. It in, was fresh. They threw in some pop and some metal. Really made me think of baby metal a lot because I like baby metal. Baby metal yeah. is fun. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was like, I was, I was, that's one of the reasons why I wanted more uh, because they, they threw in uh, a lot of the, uh, a lot more into the music for this one, I feel. And again, we only just got a taste. It was like, oh, I want more of this. And it's like, nah, just here, here here's a taste. Here's a taste. Um, I really was, hoping that they would take Haida in a different direction without spoiling anything. I was hoping they would have taken Haida in a slightly different direction. I was kind of happy as to where they took Haida. Okay. I was okay. kind of happy where they took Haida because we, we got more of Haida versus how he was in the past couple yeah, of being, seasons. Yeah, being like super Yeah, sad. and not only that, they also gave him a love interest. There's not really a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was hoping yeah. that they would do more with that. Yeah, I, I think I that's really my only disappointment was, with Haida. Yeah, and I, I think that's just more to yeah. attribute to the fact that we only got the 10 episodes. Like, if, yeah. if, if we ended up getting like, you know, five or six more, we probably would have gotten a little bit more because I yeah. want some more development with that uh, because it always it, it that feels so quickly. superfluous. Yeah, uh, him having that love interest, uh, and then they kind of just took it away quickly. Yeah, but anyway, um, that that's it's real quick. So, yeah, I, so just as quick as just as quick as the whole series, uh, the whole season was. So let's just jump right into it uh, and and give me what you thought about uh, Grisco season three after they hyped um, us up on it. Uh, I would have given it three stars. Yeah. So, so you're good with three. Uh, I'm, I'm there with three. Uh, I would have given it four if you gave me like five or six more episodes. Yeah. Uh, I would have given it four if you had uh, allowed a lot of the other side characters to develop. I know it's supposed to be all about Red Skull's story, but like, don't give us glimpses into everyone else's life if that's the case, if you're yeah. not going to help further develop uh, the other people in the show, which I really was hoping uh, we get a lot more of, but three seems like a pretty solid one. Uh, again, it goes left incredibly hard. It goes from bright and shiny to incredibly super freaking dark, and you don't see it really coming. You expect it to be, you know, more hijinks, and then it just goes incredibly freaking dark. So yeah. uh, keep an eye out for that if you're watching this and you you have, you know, some some triggers here and there uh, because we don't want you know y'all to be hopping whole hog into this and then have to deal with that yeah um but yeah uh tell us what y'all thought about agresco season three do you agree with our review hey tell us if you know you know you think that we are dumb for our little little points of view for this one because again it was, it was incredibly short so there's really, really not much to talk about without actually like digging deep and going like hey this happens you know going full spoiler we don't want to do that uh, but let us know what you th think down below in the comments because, again, we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. Also, head on over to patreon.com slash Kaiju where we can give you some exclusive new shows and content and updates on the site, the store, and the channel. We want to thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you guys will watch us more on the next Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie review show. Uh, we'll have to catch y'all next time. Deuces. Bye.